sound is a vibration in an elastic medium, air. And it wiggles analogous to the cochlea, the escargot down the bottom of our ear. And it's why we hear the world the way we do. Namely, the octave sounding like the same note, but upstairs. And the two to one ratio, one wiggle to every two wiggles, uh, sounding perceivably the same, but upstairs. It's how, and it's music is how we organize all of this sound. Rhythm, pitch, and timbre are the three elements of music. Rhythm being how we cut apart time evenly or unevenly, twos and threes, or the combination, or the superimposing of both, and uh, pitch being our melody, the kind of one at a timeness of frequencies, kind of wiggles, and pitch being the vertical algebra of harmony, you know, a chord, and um, there's not too much. There's not too much to it. We'll get into it, but it's if we divide the octave into eight parts where one and one are the same. There's space between every number except three and four and seven and one. And so that kind of shortening those two singularities in our melody, our scale, uh, give us different ratios when we create chords in the in the vertical slice a sort of a skip 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 mentality which we can get to if we dive into harmony and melody timbre that third element is the french word timbre the stamp the shape of the wave the quality the same pitch at the same rhythm could have a different quality zert zert woo woo it's sort of um, what it, what parts of the doubling of our the swirl of our ear it kind of lights up, and that's built into the instrument. You know, my two sounds coming out of my larynx is being canceled out by the sound coming at a different time out of my nose, so it creates the sound of my voice, particular character, and instrumentation, which is what's built into. Uh, what the timbre is built into, a violin sounds like a violin, really denotes our genre of music. So we have an acoustic guitar and brushes on the drums and, you know, upright bass, and, you know, we have a genre. Or if we have electronic music with synthesizers and LFOs kind of creating zerty and wooey textures or organs or and the beat, the kick with the click on the, you know, trap music, the hi-hat, the 808, these instruments point at genre. But in songwriting, which is the point, you know, how to organize, what tools do we have as the songwriter if we strip away instrumentation and we just use the rules of the words and our story and our melody writing and our harmonic relationship? And that really is the kind of naked man in front of the wardrobe. What do you want to put on? What, what genre do you want to put it into? And so the, some of the skills we have to hone our, uh, you know, our theoretical knowledge of, of music, kind of those seven numbers, the algebra, and there's not too much to it, and how we superimpose to break the rules elegantly. But in the word, we have storytelling. You know, we have our verses and our choruses that feel like, you know, we're saying a lot in our verse, and we can help the listener along by imbuing certain... Uh, tactics like past, present, and future to give a, a linear arc of the story progressing and the same chorus kind of changing perspective based on the verses telling it what to do. And uh, we have melody, so a good melody has mostly stepwise motion moving to the adjacent number in your scale with pointed leaps when you want to make a point or ryth rhythm, the subdivision of the rhythm, which is really how we feel the change of section when we talk about form, how to write, how to write, how to make the verse feel different than the chorus. Initially we want to have, we want to say a lot in the verse, so we have the subdivision of our words. Many words means a higher subdivision, da 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 one end, a two end, a triple, a triple, a, versus a kind of a 
launching chorus of one, two, three, four, just say a couple of things, uh, gives a distinct section. It's just this kind of, ha, huh, what, uh, what level are you on of subdivision? And that's built into the word that you choose. The other thing is range to consider if you're down here and your story's here and then you want to lead up to an up here sort of thing. Anyway, those are some of the melodic tactics we can use to have an interesting song, an interesting melody. And Our instrument primarily is our voice, the thing we're saying as a songwriter. And we have this knowledge of the head, we have a feeling to have, and then this body, these hands. If you play whatever instrument, you know, your thing is, um, they are all in service of this song. So the kind of the head knowledge, the heart knowledge, and the hand knowledge coming together to, to intelligently and emotionally do a something is that, that unified theory, you know, and, and do, do, do read, read, read to fill up, speak, speak, speak to practice and be ready, and write, write, write to be perfect, and done is better than good. You know, if you get good at the muscle of beginning something and finishing it with the time constraint, 52 minutes, write a song and be done with it, then you'll get good at doing the thing rather than getting good at tweaking endlessly because art is never finished, it's only abandoned. Thank you for listening.